everybody, our friends from Catholic Social Services are holding a 5K run so that you can get out, get exercise, and be a good, healthy, and happy Guamanian. Now, we have two lovely ladies here to tell us all about it and where the money generated from that very worthwhile event goes towards. We have Paula Perez and Maria Cooper Nurse. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Okay, thank so you. tell us all about the event. First of all, we say 5K, everybody out there is like, okay, <laughs> I'm in. It is actually the 11th annual 5K run for Hope and Charity for Catholic Social Service. And this year, the Alley Shelter will um, receive all of the proceeds and help towards the purchase of a new van. Excellent. Okay, Maria, what's the route? That's the next thing people want to know. The route is actually the race starts at Chamorro Village, and it kind of goes straight all the way towards uh, the government in Adaloop, government house. Mm -hmm. Not government, but the government building, sorry. And um, it, it, it's just a straight line. So really, if you're looking for an easy, uh, very... Uh, fun 5k run this would be a good one that's and also the speedsters course because for the people that are professional oh, yes, runners yeah. because it's all flat and <laughs> flat. It's, it's, nice, right. it's a nice course but for those who are coming with their family it's also a great a great one to participate in that's a really good one mm -hmm. for the strollers too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what's also yeah. interesting is because like a lot of 5k races that they have will start at ad loop you go down towards chamor village. village and turn around and go mm -hmm. there. this way is kind of the, uh, the opposite the opposite yeah. way mm -hmm. so depending on how the wind is that that one day it's also a good challenge if you're trying to best your personal time. That's true. Yeah, I did it last year, and it's really a lot of fun. So mm -hmm. we really encourage everyone to come out and, mm -hmm. and support our, our 5K. Okay, and is the mm -hmm. uh, start time and then, then the go time pretty much like standard fare, 5.30 yes. and then 6, respectively? 5.30, show time, 6 o'clock, go time. All right. So um, let's talk about, about Catholic Social Service. And, and it's funny how it's Catholic Social Service, and yet the number of services that are provided mm -hmm. to the community Correct. are so varied and so broad. Mm -hmm. and we have actually 15, 15 programs. different programs. Mm -hmm. And this year, every year, the beneficiary of the 5K changes. This year, it's the Alley Shelter. And we have two different shelters that we operate. One is a women's shelter, and the other would be a children's shelter. So we're working very hard to purchase a new vehicle. We do all of the transports for all the women and children that we provide services for. So a new vehicle is what we need right now. Mm -hmm. The ones we do have are a lot older, so maintenance has become an issue, and they're not very fuel efficient. So, because we do so much transport, this is exactly what we need. And I'm thinking because you guys transport multiple groups of people, and you said like, especially like, you know, some small children and everything, you're yes. probably looking at like a big, like an Econo van or... Well, you... actually we're looking for a seven passenger van, something okay. that doesn't attract attention. Okay, uh, well that, yeah. that's a very good point. Yes, you know, you because want there to... are protector shelters, so we, we're looking for just a regular seven passenger van. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, so how can people get involved not only with Catholic Social Services, but the race if they'd like to volunteer. Because, you know, I mean, there's always students out there that, you know, um, want to donate to somebody. Or there's, you know, just military folks that are just like, hey, that sounds like a good event. I'd like to participate, but I'd also like to help out. Sure. They're, they're more than welcome to visit our offices in Barragata Heights behind uh, Department of Revenue Tax. Uh, there they can sign up for the 5K, or they can let us know that they want to volunteer. We're more than happy to have anyone come and join us. Um, if we could have racers, that would be awesome. I mean, we need uh, all the help we can get with that. But um, really, we're always in need of, of volunteers throughout the year for the different programs that we run, uh, including Ali Shelter. But Catholic Social Service also does programs for our elderly, the disabled, um, children, the homeless. There's just a wide variety of services and needs that our community has. Now, some people are going to ask out there, especially like maybe like military groups, mm -hmm. do you necessarily have to be a baptized Catholic if I would just like to come and like volunteer my time or like just help out no. just, just because I feel it's the right thing to do. Catholic social service is for everyone. Of course our mission is based on the Catholic faith of Christianity and helping others but really we're there to service whoever needs our help and so same thing with volunteers. You don't necessarily have to be Catholic to help. Uh, you just want to help people. So. Wonderful and that that is I mean you, you guys are based on as you said you know the good Catholic virtues mm -hmm. and the good axiology that all Catholics believe, but you're also really, really good Guamanians and you're doing this for the community. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. right. I, I can tell how pumped you guys are for this <laughs> event. May, may I ask, are, are the both of you, you know, obviously you're the coordinators and you've got mm -hmm. a lot on your plate. Mm -hmm. Will you also be running? No. I, I will run. I'll walk. I'll walk more than run. Paula, come on. No, I'd be manning all the registration tables and the metal table and the t-shirt table. Even more reason you know. for you to start first and finish first. <laughs> So you, you're, you're probably going to have to set some like world record. That's right. Because you're going to have to be back exactly. and then you know, get everybody all set. get everything up. all set. Yeah. Okay. Whereas people like me will probably be bringing up the rear because, you know, like <laughs> we're, we're old and just slow. <laughs> okay. So where can people register? Okay. Right now they can register at our main offices in Barragata Heights mm -hmm. uh, between 8 and 5. All right. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything else you guys like to add? I, I'm not sure we mentioned the date, but it's for this Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, that's our 5K run. So hopefully everyone can join us then. And that is a great mm -hmm. way to start the island weekend. Sponsors. And our main sponsors are Bank of Guam, 
Jones and Guerrero and Moylan's. All right. Do you guys have a commemorative T-shirt? That's the other thing that yes, people always do. Yes, we do. We have T-shirts for the first 500 finishers. 500 yeah. finishers. That's a lot of T-shirts. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And we have some awesome raffle prizes. We've had an overwhelming um, response from the community. And our grand prize is uh, two round trip tickets to Manila, courtesy of Philippine Airline. And our baby grand is a round trip ticket to either Manila or Tokyo, courtesy of Delta. Excellent. I, you know, I've been hearing a lot. Well, we here at KUM like to have our pulse on or keep our eyes and ears to the track of what's going on on the island. And a lot of people believe now you're not truly Guamanian until you bought a pair of Zoris, you've been to a village fiesta, and you've run in a 5K race. 5K. <laughs> yeah, so it's nice that, that you fine yeah. folks are helping indoctrinize people mm -hmm. into the island way of life. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having us. And good luck. We'll see you there. Thank you. All right. And thank you for watching. But we are far from done. We're back. When it comes to your health, you and your family deserve the best care. IHP Medical Group